In this video, we're going to walk through the creation of a disk to disk to tape, or a disk to disk to disk, or what is also sometimes called a staged backup strategy. The first thing we need to do inside Retrospect is go to Scripts and click on Add. And we're going to create a backup script. We'll call this My Backup Schedule. And we click Add. We go to Sources, and we need to tell Retrospect what to back up. I'm going to have Retrospect back up all the clients on my network and all of my local disks. Then I go to Media Sets, and I have an existing disk-based media set that I'd like to use for my nightly backups. This is the media set that remains on-site and does not go off-site. I go to Rules, and I'm going to tell it to use all files except cache files. And under Schedule, I'm going to click on the plus, and I'm going to have Retrospect perform a schedule Monday through Friday at 10 p.m. I'm going to use the option that says No Media Action, which is the same as performing a normal backup. That copies the files that were new or changed since the previous backup. Then I'm going to go to Options, and I'm going to turn on the option for data compression and software so that I can get the maximum space out of my backup drive. I'm also going to use the media verification option to save time during my nightly backups. After I've created my backup script, I go to Add, and I can go ahead and select the option that says Copy Backup. And I'm going to call this My Off-Site Backup Schedule. And then click Add. When you do an off-site backup or a staged backup strategy, you want to make sure that your source represents the nightly backup that you perform. So I'm going to select the My Backup, which is my on-site disk backup set, so that I can transfer that off-site. I'm going to go to Destinations, and I don't currently have a destination I'd like to use. So I go to Media Sets, and I click on Add, and in this circumstance, I want to take my off-site media onto tape. And we'll call this my off-site tape. If I wanted to, I could use encryption. Whenever you take a tape or hard disk off-site, you should consider using encryption for the best protection and the safety in case that piece of media got lost. I click on Add. And I can return to the script. We've already got our source selected, which was the My Backup. The destination for the offsite transfer is going to be my tape set. So we can call this My Offsite Tape. I want to transfer all files. And I'm going to schedule this. I don't want to run this every day of the week. I'd really only like to run this once a week. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that Friday is selected. And then every Friday, Retrospect will copy the contents of my on site backup into my off-site tape set. I'm also going to turn on compression. If I was using a disk-based destination for my off-site backup, then using software compression would give me maximum space on my media. Every time this transfer script runs, or this copy script, it's only going to copy the files that are new or have been added to my backup media since the last time I ran this particular script. So whenever this particular script runs, it doesn't copy every single file every time. It only copies the files that have been added to the My Backup media set, and then it writes those new files to the My Offsite tape set. 